<sighs> yes, I'm talking too much. Like, it's mad early in the morning. And I'm doing this little video before I leave the house. Ooh, and I got my coffee sitting here. I know this is, like, not part of the video. But, like, you know. I hope I'm not all over the place. Hi guys welcome back to my bubble and in today's video as promised i am back with another fragrance review in my last video my last fragrance video my last video <laughs> um i told you guys that i will be reviewing a perfume that i recently got because it's just that great and it is worth reviewing so that perfume is none other than something blue if it's not focusing i am sorry my lighting is just ridiculous i don't know what's going on but yeah something blue by oscar de la renta and this is what the box looks like hold on one minute because we need light here okay so this is what the box looks like it's kind of like it's just baby blue and white with silver accents like the writing isn't is, isn't silver sorry um it's kind of like it's giving me kind of like leopard pattern but it doesn't really have to be leopard um and this is the baby right here how beautiful is this bottle you guys like this bottle is beautiful this bottle is the reason why i purchased this fragrance to begin with yes i went off the bottle without having a clue what it smells like yes i do that <laughs> but i don't regret it you guys but let, before i get into what it smells like and the notes and whatever let's talk about the bottle so it's just pretty simple very minimalistic definitely gives me cinderella vibes with the baby blue cap and the kind of yellowish champagne -y liquid silver writing um the cap has some weight to it and then it has a ring and it says oscar de la renta around it super super simple this will look beautiful on any vanity i promise you okay so i got me the 3.4 fluid ounce that's the largest one that they have and this retailed for now I notice that they have it for like 19 something on fragrance net but when I purchased it I got it for like 18 18 something so it's very very inexpensive you guys you guys so it's definitely definitely worth a try um the reason why I bought this one like I mentioned is because of the bottle I had never smelled it before I've never really heard anybody talk about it before and after I looked up the bottle um, I wanted to get, you know, some insights on the fragrance, what it smelled like, the projection, the longevity, and all of that stuff. And to my surprise, there wasn't really much said about this perfume. Um, there were a few videos on YouTube, but they were very brief and not detailed. So it wasn't much help. So I was very hesitant before getting this. It was like, should I get it? Should I not? Should I get it? Should I not? What if I don't like it? Um, on Fragrantica, a lot of people describe this as basic and simple, nothing to brag about, just a cute bottle. And others did say that it was a really nice scent, so nice that it could be a wedding scent. Now, like I mentioned before, I personally don't think this is a wedding scent. Um, it's more like a wedding dress shopping scent. Well, at least for me, like, I would want my wedding scent to be a bit more complex. This is just a bit too, too simple for a wedding. But it, nonetheless, it's beautiful. It's such a feminine scent. It's a very beautiful scent. And I would definitely wear this to go shopping for my wedding dress. Like, <clears throat> yes, I actually have this on right now. And... I does that 
So now, <clears throat> when you first spritz this, it comes off very alcoholic. I must say that. It kind of reminds me of definitely yes it kind of reminds me of la colonia para mi bebe that's that baby cologne that every spanish mother has in their household for their baby there's two of them there's the pink one and there's the blue one this reminds me of the blue one i'll insert a picture here in case you guys don't know what i'm talking about it definitely definitely smells like that when you first spray it now once it settles down into your skin it's very soft like it's soft it's feminine it's clean it's refreshing definitely refreshing and it's green like <clears throat> i'm sorry you guys again i mentioned before i not i'm not good with notes but i definitely do know that this scent has stephanotis in it and i'm very familiar with stephanotis stephanotis are very small white flowers they smell beautiful and they're very very expensive and also, Stephanotis, a lot of brides like to use Stephanotis in their bridal bouquets. Fun fact, in case you didn't know. Now you know. So now, once this settles down into the skin, um, it smells just like that, like Stephanotis. It's like a whole bunch of Stephanotis mixed in together with a drop, like a teeniest, tiniest drop of like alcohol. Just to give it that crispy sharpness that it has because that's exactly what it is. It's crisp, it's clean, it's green, it's sharp, refreshing, and very, very, very feminine. Like, I absolutely love this scent, you guys. <clears throat> now, it also has, I remember it had mandarin, orange. I don't know what that smells like. Um, it has bergamot. I don't know what that smells like, neither. It has vanilla, and it has, I know what vanilla smells like. And it has stephanotis. So those are the only two notes that I'm really familiar with in this perfume. The bergamot, I mean, no, the vanilla and the stephanotis. The rest, um, not really. On Fragrantica, the main accords were, I believe, citrus, white floral, and musk. And I, it's definitely floral. Like, definitely the white floral is there. I don't get the musk part. Like, I really, really don't get the musk part. And I love musky scent so i'm very familiar with my musky scents i don't get any musks from this the citrus yeah when you first spritz it definitely you definitely catch the citrus but it's not like an orange citrus because i personally don't like orangey scents like light blue by dolce and gabbana i don't like it to me that smells like orangey lemony like i, I don't like that at all but anyways back to this one Yes, you guys. So this perfume is just absolutely beautiful. It's definitely a springtime, summertime scent. I wouldn't really wear this in the fall or winter time because it's just, it's just not appropriate for that season. I believe it's just very refreshing, very green, clean, and feminine. And once it settles down to the skin, it's just a beautiful, beautiful scent. Now the longevity of this, I would say it's moderate. Like I wore this once before, and I wore it to work and I was at work for eight hours and it lasted all throughout. Like I, I was able to smell it on me. Again, maybe because I over spritzed, but um, I smelled it on me all throughout the eight hours and it was just like, I, I smelled it and it didn't disappear. Like every time I moved, like mm, there it goes, mm, there it is, you know? <laughs> so I feel like the longevity is pretty good and yeah, I mean, what more can I say about this perfume? It's just, it's just lovely, you guys. You should definitely check this one out on FragranceNet or wherever, wherever else you can find it. Before the summertime is over, girls, get your hands on this. Very, very, very inexpensive. And I'm just so surprised that people don't even brag about this stuff. Like, it's beautiful. There's this one and there's also um, something gold by Oscar de la Renta. I've never really smelled that one. I haven't even read the reviews on that one but i will look into it the bottle is just completely gold so that's interesting to me because you know i love my gold <laughs> but yes you guys that is something blue by oscar de la renta <clears throat> it's just so beautiful 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 this is probably like my one 
I won't say my favorite, one of my favorite summer scents. Definitely spring and summer. So yeah, so I decided to make this video just because, again, there aren't many reviews on this scent. And I definitely think there should be. There should be because it's just lovely. So for those of you ladies that like simple but sophisticated and feminine scents, don't sleep on this one. I mean, it, you can't go wrong. Like, you can't go wrong. It's super inexpensive and it's just beautiful. It's definitely, definitely worth a try oscar de la renta something blue anyways i hope you guys like this video um let me know comment down below what type of videos you guys would like to see of course aside from the burps and the farts and that stuff i know i get it that's all most of you want to see but for those of you who enjoy these types of videos the fragrances the hauls the outfit of the days here and there comment down below let me know what you want to see what you're interested in what you're feeling you know and i'm willing and open you guys i'm willing and open so with that being said don't forget to rate comment and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one bye